In this video, you are going to learn how you can find the caller ID or the owner name of a phone number. Now, if you don't know already, or this is the first time watching this video on this channel, I have a link in this description in which you get three things for free. The first thing is CyberSudo OSINT Toolkit, which has a collection of websites that I use on a regular basis. The second thing, thing is a mini course on how you can unlock vulnerable cars using replay attack and the third thing is how can you find a wireless access point password using osx all of this is going to be in the link in the description and let's start our video in this video we are going to rely on some websites that have a huge database of phone numbers so what we will do is we will just give the phone number and see whether they have the phone number or not if they have the phone number, we will be able to see the caller ID. If not, we won't be able to see it. And some of these websites are US only and some of them are international. So you want to keep this in mind. But I promise you that I'm going to make a video on how can we find the owner name of a phone number using a manual approach, which is a little bit more, more a little bit more advanced than what we are doing here right now. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let's start our video all right so the first thing that i like to do when i get a call from somebody that i do not know maybe a company maybe a person is to search this number on google bing and yandex because google sometimes find the owner of the phone number and not all the times but sometimes google can find the owner of the phone number and not only google i recommend using all other search engines like bing or yandex so let's do this for example and here i have an example which is a for a mcdonald's phone number in berlin so what we can do i know this is a very basic example you might get a call from somebody from a phone number or a mobile number from somebody that you do not know but i always copy the name or the phone number and put it into google to see the search results and the first thing i do is just to copy the phone number as it is and put it in google and then search for it and here you can see that we've got 1510 results and you can see that this phone number belong to mcdonald's restaurant and of course when i click on it i can see the full address of um, the restaurant now of course what you can do is put this phone number in two quotation marks like this and there here you will get only eight results which will decrease from the number of the search result that we have seen before because right now what google is doing is searching specifically for this phone number so you can see that we have got only eight search results we can see it's mcdonald's and we can see the full address when they open when they close etc and here are the search results now what i also like to do since this is a german landline number is just to remove the space from here remove the zero and add four nine and then hit enter we can see right now that we have got seven search results as you can see right here right here as well or i can add the plus and you can see that now we have six search results or maybe i can remove the four nine and the plus and add the zero and remove the space that we're in between and now we can we can get five results so as you can see the search results differ by changing the phone number that you have so i recommend using google bing and yandex not only google but of course google has the most information or almost all the information that you may or may not find in other search engines the second website that i like to use is my favorite website which is called true color true color has a huge database of phone numbers and it includes landline and also personal or mobile phone numbers so what we will do is just to enter the country code which is in my case it's in germany it's going to be four nine and i'm going to remove the zero the space as well and hit enter and we you, as you can see we did not find the owner of this phone number but we found the address or maybe the city in germany which is in berlin so sometimes true color has some information that google does not have and sometimes google has information that true color does not have 
Now let's move to the second website, which is also one of my favorite. I will go come back here and here you can select the country where you are in. So if you're in Germany, United States, Albania, Argentina, etc., you can select the company or uh, the country that you are in. In my case, it's in Germany. I'm going to say Germany and then it's going to redirect me to this page which, on, which will only search in Germany. So I can add or select whether I want to search for a company and a person. In my experience, I think that they are both the same. Like whether you select company or person, the search results are going to be the same. But you can tell me in the comment section if you have a different result. So what we are going to enter right here is either the name or phone number or maybe an email address and the post code if you would like to search in a specific area. So in my case, I'm going to add the phone number of McDonald's and then I hit enter. And as you can see, we can see that this phone number belongs to McDonald's and this is their address. Now, the third website that I would like to show you is called SyncMe and SyncMe is just like True Color. They have a database, a huge database, not huge as True Color database, but it's also a good database. So we will can see we c whether we can find the phone number of McDonald's and then hit enter. Okay, we need to sign in. Let me sign in and come back to you. So you can see that they are telling me that you have reached the daily search limit. I think that you have three daily search limit and I've used all of them. That's why I can't um, search for this phone number. But in your case, you can use it as an additional website to see the results. And now from now on, we are going to be looking at website that only allow us to search for US phone numbers. And one of them is called Color ID. And as an example, I'm going to use a McDonald's that is in the United States in New York City. So I'm just going to copy the phone number and paste it in here. And then I'm going to say search. And you can see that the color are these McDonald's and you can see that it's in you in registered in New York City. So the next website is called that's them. And with uh, that's them, you can actually search for names, addresses, phone number, email, IP address, or a VIN number. So in our case, we're going to be searching only for phone numbers. I'm going to add the name or the phone number, and then I'm going to let it search. And you can see that we have got a different color ID, and I'm actually surprised. You can see it's um, email address, phone number, and you can see that it is in New York, and it is for Fadi Deep. And you can see that it's last updated five years ago, and I would assume that McDonald's wasn't in this area, wasn't registered in this area five years ago. That's why we are getting some old information. And for me, I like to use all the databases that they have to see all different kinds of information. So I know that right now that Fadi Deep is or existed and used this landline number before McDonald's. The second website is called Advanced Background Checks. And all we what we can do is just to pass the phone number and then search. And as you can see, if the first thing it's telling us is that this is not a fraud or a spam phone number, and it's giving us some information about people who may have used this phone number, as you can see here. And you can see that advanced background checks is not only searching for the phone or the color ID, it's searching for everybody who used this phone number. I would assume that they have an old database and that's why they are showing us this information. But for me, as a, an OSINT investigator, I like to get all the information. I don't care. At the beginning, I don't care whether they are accurate or not. I can collect all the information and then I can use them to see whether they are posted somewhere else and I can connect the dots to each other. This is a similar website that's called Fast People Search. I can add the phone number. I haven't actually searched for this phone number yet and that's why I'm discovering what we are seeing right here together. So you can see that it's in from New York and we can see that the age is 33. And I think that we have seen this right here. You can see that the name here is replaced with stars, but with fast people search, we can actually get the full information about this person. So that's why you don't rely on one website. I, I believe that you have to use all the websites that you can see available and try to search this phone number 
because you will get some different results. The next website is called White Pages and all I have to do is just to paste the phone number right here and let's see the results and you can see that it's for McDonald's we can get the full address and the postal code the next thing is Spokio and Spokio have a huge database of people emails names etc and we will see what information we can get right here now as you can see we are required to purchase a membership but what you can do instead of purchasing a membership is copy the full number that you have got from Spokio because you will see that the format is a little bit different let me show you so the, fo the phone number that we have searched for is this one and you can see that they use this format to search for the phone number and what, what I would do is just to copy this phone number and go to Google and say sitespokio.com and then search for this specific phone number and in our case we haven't got a search result let me show you you can see that we have not got a search result but if you have got a search result like this and you try to open the link it will ask you to buy a membership but you can do is what you can do is just to go and view the cached version of this page and once you open it you will get more information as you can see here without buying a membership so that's it for this video i hope you liked and enjoyed watching this video and got something out of this video don't forget to let me know what you think in the comment sections whether you have any video any other video ideas that we can make in the future and thank you so much for still watching this video until now and i will see you soon